guess we're getting on this ride again. It's about 7.40 a.m. We're on the 401 headed towards the Detroit-Windsor Bridge, which is a different route than I took the first time I went to Georgia, which I like because I get to see different things. We just crossed the border. We are now in the city of Detroit. First stop of the trip, Tim Hortons. It's just outside of Detroit. We got a lot of driving ahead of us. Coffee will help. Dark roast. We just passed Cincinnati and we're about to pass into Kentucky. Where Matt Bevin is the governor. In case you want to. Stop for a quick pee. And. <laughs> Everybody, want to bet that car's heading to Dragon Con? All right, the sun is starting to set. It's uh, 8:03 p.m. and we have driven 1,463.2 kilometers. According to the GPS, we are approximately one hour outside of Atlanta. So we made better time than uh, the last trip to Georgia, which is nice. And uh, we should get there just as it's getting dark. We're at a Walmart in Atlanta. Grabbing some basic groceries for the Airbnb. Couple things. Got a picture frame for the poster. Colin's here. Yo. And Eileen is here. Hi. 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 We're at Walmart. World. Hi. We're at Walmart. Hi. Bye. 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 All right. You are sir. All right. Just arrived at the Hyatt. This place is crazy. Got my badge, VIP. Day two here at Dragon Con, and uh, I was just at a meeting with a bunch of other filmmakers. Met some cool people, made some friends. Kessler Syndrome screens at seven o'clock tonight, so uh, I'm gonna take in some films and panels before that. Here we go. Welcome to Dragon Con. All the business will be in this 
Stanley is on the third floor. All gamers will be in building one. One, two, ready, go! That was so clean. <laughs> We've got some zombies and pirates and other things going on in here, right? Stanley right there, signing some autographs. We're at a panel. A panel. That moment, and I think it's one of the instances I was really fortunate on. We're about 30 minutes from the screening. It starts at 7. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but this whole crowd of people is the line to get in. We're sitting on the ground there, and the line continues down the wall. It's going to be a full theater. I'm pretty nervous. This is the biggest audience that's ever seen the film before. An entire audience of sci-fi fans are going to see my film. It's the most expensive screen in the year. Hi, I'm Mr. B6. It's Captain Shaman. It's a beautiful one. All right, so everything looks good right now. Are we good with the projection? Do we have somebody ready for lights? Okay, so if I could have lights. <laughs> All right, enjoy the show! <laughs> okay, so uh, if you please again give your name, uh, the name of the film, and then just maybe a short little description of what you call or something about uh, the name of the film. Uh, hi, I'm Scott Dion Brown. I was the lead actor and director of Kessler Syndrome. This is my first film that I've ever made. I made it thinking that I wanted to try to make a fi the film as simple as possible and the simplest thing I could think of was one guy in a chair for like 90% of the movie, it's going to be easy. Um, it was only when I got to actually making it and realizing that I had to create an actual spaceship with all the exteriors. Anyway, if you're making, anybody in here is going to make your first movie, don't set it in space. <laughs> Do we have any questions from anybody? Oh, uh, yes. You too. Okay, everything from planning to shooting to finding the right sound people and all that. What is your biggest challenge starting with today? Uh, for me, the biggest challenge was um, acting it and uh, directing at the same time. The night before the first day of shooting, I was up till 4 a.m. finishing painting the spaceship. And then it was like uh, the next day, the people start to show up, and suddenly I realized, oh wait, now I need to do acting. And it's like <laughs> two completely different headspaces. You're sitting there trying to make sure the camera angle's right, and make sure the lighting is right, and make sure all of that is correct, and then at the same time you're trying to become a character. Um, it's, it's very, yeah, it's painful. And also, I just wanted to quickly shout out, um, you guys sat up quickly, I, Cassie who came with me for the drive down. Woo! So, that's Paul Campbell on the music, I need to stop telling his makeup, that's my brother Taylor on camera, and my what dad. And my dad, Mike Brown, he is, we filmed in his basement, he has a camera in the movie, when the automatic door opens, that's him pulling it open. Uh, so, uh, thank you guys for coming here, you guys are wonderful. Woo! Uh, thank you guys for coming to the, to the show. Uh, we got several screen shows coming up uh, soon, and we got another panel in right after this. We have to have to the room. But thank you. Reception seemed fairly positive. I got to chat with some other filmmakers about what they thought, exchanged some business cards and all that. So now we're
join us here in the main lobby of the Hyatt. Awesome building. Sign behind me. Dragon Con. This is amazing. Thank you so much to the Dragon Con Film Festival for having me. Hey bro, what's up? And uh, thanks a lot. I think I'll probably end the vlog here. We'll see. Like and subscribe for more. Smash the like button. Thanks for watching guys. And uh, Dragon Con. Baby. Oh, my God.